After checking in, we just took a little stroll in the neighborhood and then we thought we'll familiarize ourselves with this place before we take you and show you what the neighborhood is like. And Anda, I tell you, it's really beautiful. Like it's nothing like what we'd expected. We thought it's going to be busy and everything. But we'll show you how beautiful and so simple the place is. And before that, I have a very excited somebody who wants to really give you this little room tour because it's the best piece of luxury we've stayed in in six months. Hello, Come my on. friend. Hello, welcome to our fancy room. But before you check into the room, look at the seating area. We have two wooden chairs with a view of the garden and the pool. Oh, the pool is right there. Yeah. Come in. We have a nice fancy bed and the mattress is actually comfortable. Yeah, it's a big, big yeah. bed. And we even have lampshades. Look at this lamp on top. It's so nicely made. It's all like white and brown themed. It's a boutique resort. I'm loving this. Also get tea and coffee. Yeah, water. Tea and coffee, water, and we have aircon. Ah, finally. Not that we have had the need to use it because yeah. the wind has been really nice and breezy, and we also have a safe inside. Yeah. It's messy. But we we'll just show you this much. And this safe, interestingly, it's actually glued to the wall. At all other places we have seen, we can just lift the safe and go away. Yeah. But it's stuck to the wall. It's yeah. really safe. And this is our bathroom. Ah, cha -cha. White themed bathroom. Perfect. Hello again. <laughs> and there's a geyser with hot water. Yeah. I'm loving this. But yeah, the best part is definitely the views that we get from yeah. our room. And the beach is just three minutes away. Of course, we'll show you what the beach is like. Very soon. And we'll also go play in the pool. They even have a kitchen and a restaurant in-house and they can whip up anything for you. The Wi-Fi tree. This is one of the most beautiful beaches we have seen and it's just one minute away from our resort. The wind is absolutely crazy. It's pushing me. So now we're out exploring the old town of Anda and after that little visit to the beach, our friend Riza is taking us to explore some of the caves around here. And you used to come here as a kid? Yeah, every day going here.
싫어. 워킹 아라운 타운. 안다 타운. 나이스. <웃음> Have you made a monkey? Okay, bye. Under lodge, under market, under shish, under now. Just to put things in perspective, this was our first ever experience of being in a typhoon. It began sometime just before midnight and we were so terrified by how fast and loudly the wind was blowing. We were afraid that our roof would fly off and we were looking outside the window all night long without any sleep. There was also no electricity. The next morning, we learned from Riza that this typhoon had a devastating impact in other parts of the Philippines, destroying many houses, boats, and lives of families. We also learned that the sea water level had come up from the beach all the way till our resort, which was at least 200 meters and at almost 5 to 6 meter height. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in Anda. But since the typhoon turned into a storm, the next morning, the rain continued like this. Crazy! It's so strong! I'm scared. On this little tricycle parked right beside the road and it started raining heavily and the wind started blowing so strongly so we just came inside and we're sitting here inside the tricycle taking some you know shelter from the rain that's where we took shelter and look at the road it's turned into a little river stop for some lunch on this little cafe here and we're gonna have some quesadillas and uh, since the Spanish had colonized the Philippines for a long time you get a lot of Spanish Mexican dishes here so this one is right on the beach and Chichira is already sitting there as you can see the Sun has come out a little bit What, what are your names? Anadel. 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 Remeline. Remeline. I'm Angela. Angela. My name. <laughs> are you all from here, Anda? Yes. yes. And this very beautiful house. What is your favorite thing about Anda? Very nice, please. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so 
Uh, do you have chili sauce? Do you have chili sauce? Yes. So we heard about the famous coconut burger here in Anda so we came here to Loka Loka to try it out. These are sweet potato fries. Let's try this burning. Good stuff. The flavor is really good. I can feel the coconut. It's really crunchy. There's a lot of sauce inside. You have to buy these tomato and cucumber. It's crunchy and sweet. There's a mild coconut taste, but otherwise, it feels like just about any other burger. It's very crunchy, and there's a lot of veggies also on top. Just at that one bite, like you suddenly feel the rush of coconut, and then it's normal again. And now we've got the famous chili ice cream. Chili ice cream. And we're gonna give this a taste. Oh, it's. It's homemade. <laughs> Spicy. This taste when it feels sweet when you keep it on the tongue, and then when you start to swallow it, the fire begins in the throat. <laughs> Anga is such a cool place. It's absolutely awkward. We didn't see any tourists here. The people here are so smiling and. I thoroughly enjoyed this place and the best part is the beaches here. It's so blue and so untouched. It's really, really nice. If you're in Philippines and if you're thinking you need to slow down for a day or two, this is the perfect place for it. And all the tuk 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 sound that you heard was somebody just building their house out of wood. Now, how often do you get to see something like that in a touristy place, right? Yep. It's as raw and real as it gets. That's all there is here in Anda. Everything is just so beautiful and raw and simple. You know, there's a village here, there's a small town up ahead, and then the beach right at the end of this road. And you know, it's this is the stuff we travel for. This is you know the the offbeat stuff that we really look for. And if you're here, we're pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it too. Maybe it's time for us to just dip into the pool and end the day. And see you in the next one. Splash.
So hope you guys enjoyed watching today's vlog and hope you enjoyed exploring Anda as well yeah. because we definitely did. And thank you so much Riza for showing us around. It yeah. was so much fun and there were a lot of stories we talked about behind the camera which yeah. obviously <laughs> we couldn't show you because the power went out, we had no lights and it was a very very beautiful experience. And, and for me whenever Anda, whenever I think of Anda it's her. Which yeah. comes to my mind. <laughs> and and she makes this mad chili sauce, you know, it's you must come to Anda just for just the chili for sauce at least. <laughs> because it's it's all homegrown. Like yeah. you know, she gets the chilies right from the garden and makes it, it's really delicious. And beyond that, I think the thing that we liked most about Anda was, you know, just the conversations we had. Yeah. It's it's so beautiful because it's not touristy, it's offbeat. And then, you know, it's a side of the Philippines that you must experience. So if you're ever planning a trip to the Philippines, don't miss out on coming here to Anda to enjoy what is even better than it's more fun in the Philippines. Yeah. So see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. subscribing to our channel you will make two rice eating kids very happy this will also encourage us to explore more of the world and take you along on this incredible journey thank you for watching this video we'll see you day after bye